getting everything ready. Thanks, guys. Maybe we should all put those down for there. Yeah. Maybe somebody would put down their coat and sit down. On the stairs. I told her next time you need to call me. Okay. I don't know if this ever, if this landlord ever said it would be a cold day in hell before the tenants won, but hopefully, certainly not hell, but it's going to be a cold day, and hopefully the tenants are going to find victory. Uh, I'm State Senator Daniel Squadron. Uh, I, I represent this area since January 1st. And, uh, you know, I've represented this area only a few weeks, but I've known about the uh, horrible situation that the tenants of 47 East 3rd have been in for a long time. It is a, a really unacceptable situation. When you have rent regulation so that you can have housing stability, you have rent regulation so that tenants like the ones standing behind me who have been in this building 20, 23 years know that every year they're going to have the opportunity to continue to invest and live and make a home in their community. And when a landlord so blatantly drives a Mack truck through a loophole in the rent regulation in order to get rid of tenants who have made their lives here, it just makes you feel sick. It really does. And the fact that the law, according to the courts, did to protect these tenants is an unacceptable situation. And I think that my colleagues in government who are here, and there's a, there's a lot of them here in person and represented, have known that for a long time. I think that there's no question the tenants have known that since the day that they, they got their first notice, all the way up until the Court of Appeals came down with a decision that was so disappointing. And so we're here today to propose a law in the state senate that would prevent landlords from doing what was done here. What this landlord did is take the uh, loophole that allows a landlord for personal use, for their own use, the use of their immediate family to make a home in an otherwise rent regulated unit that they've purchased and evict a tenant to do so. This landlord has evicted 15 units. 15 units supposedly for personal use. You are looking at a private home behind us according to this landlord. It is such a blatant violation of the spirit of the law. And so what we're proposing today is a law that would prevent landlords from using any more than one unit for personal use. If you buy a building and you want to move into it and you have rent-regulated tenants, you should have the right to move in, make yourself a home. You know what? There are 15 units worth of tenants who made a home here for many decades in one apartment each. It's a sufficient and fair exception to the uh, protections that rent-regulated tenants get. And so this law, which has already been passed by the Assembly, we are submitting to the Senate. Traditionally, the State Senate has been the uh, blockage on getting these kinds of tenant laws passed. It was Republican control, and issue after issue would get passed by the Assembly and go to the Senate to die. Well, we're here today to say the State Senate is going to step up and pass this bill and not just not just pass it for a press hit, not just pass it to make people feel good, pass it to create new protections for tenants across this city and across the uh, entire region in where rent regulation exists. So All right. it's a leader, an enormous leader on housing issues <coughs> for years, has been fighting on this issue particularly okay. yeah. for years, and so many others, working with her and with on the council side with my colleague in government who is, who is as strong a fighter as there is for tenants who need it, for affordable housing in the city, for the preservation of neighborhoods like this one which she represents and which I share with her, council member uh, Rosie Mendez. We've got a big, big list of speakers, so I'm going to go right into it. First, we're going to have one tenant representative speak, and um, then uh, the elected officials, elected officials reps. I hope you stick through the entire program. Uh, everyone will have something to add. So first, uh, a 23-year resident. Uh, well, I'll, I'll Okay, yeah. a 20-year resident <laughs> of the building, <laughs> Ursula Kinzel, who's going to have to no, move out Janet now. Dunstan. <laughs> Janet Dunstan. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Ursula Janet Dunstan. Dunstan. I apologize. <laughs> Janet Dunstan, a 20-year resident of the building, who's going to have to move out of this building by August because of this loophole that we want to fix. Janet, thank you very much. Um, Hi, everybody. Hi, I see a lot of familiar faces out here. I'm, I'm Janet Dunson. I'm 
I wish that you know, I could be here to celebrate our victory, but unfortunately that's not the case for us. Um, but we're very thankful that Senator Squadron is highlighting this issue and hopefully with this newly christened Democratic Senate, we can get some things done and see some changes. Uh, the changes will come too late to help us, but we don't want to see any other tenants go through what we've been through. And this case is a perfect example of why these laws have to be changed. I mean, this is, it's absurd, and everyone knew that it was absurd uh, from the first day of this, which was over five years ago, but we could not find relief in the courts. The judicial system did fail us, and now it's, we've got to find a legislative solution to this. So um, I think we've come out of a long period of greed and lack of regulatory oversight in the city and in the country. It's obvious if you read the newspaper that without regulation, people suffer, people lose their homes, and that's not just homeowners, but also renters lose their homes. And hopefully with these new laws, landlords like ours, Catherine Yatrakis and Alistair Konamakis, landlords like these won't be able to act so freely and so brazenly. So thank you, Daniel. Thank, thank you, you very much. Right. on this issue so long. It's a long partnership with the tenants. Great council member from this district, Rosie Mendez. All right, Rosie. Yay! I want to thank uh, Senator Squadron for putting this together. And I want to thank my community. For years, we stood behind our neighbors, with them and for them. This made its way all the way to the highest court in New York. And the court interpreting the law said that what the landlords are doing is legal. This building is a tenement building. There are many in this community. They've been around since the 1800s. If the owner wanted 9,000 square feet and needed 9,000 square feet, really begs the question, why didn't they buy a condo or a house? Why did they buy a tenement building that's a walk-up that has 15 families living in it for several decades? It's because they realized there was a loophole in the law and they could use it to their advantage. And this is not just for my neighbors who live in this building. This is disgrace for every tenant in this city who will be at risk of losing their homes. And when does it stop? Is it just 16 units? Is it 100 units? So I am grateful that my colleagues in the state are introducing this legislation because I've met with the tenants, I've met with their lawyers, and I was helpless in the city council. I could not do anything. It is part of the reason why we need to pass the Erstat law and bring, bring control back to the city council because we represent them daily, not the upstate uh, uh, elected officials who've been curtailing tenant rights here in this city. So thank you all for being here, and I am very saddened that my neighbors cannot continue to live in this building. We are working and hopefully we will find an alternate place for them here in this community. And that's all we can do is just continue to work together. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, and now, Senator, by August. Okay. Okay.